Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of videos where we will look into the update design functionality which is available in RCDC or Stand Advanced Concrete. This functionality helps us to check our finalized or pleased design as against any revision in our analysis model. So let's get started with the same. So what do we cover in this session today is what is your update design? So say if you have finalized or freezed your design in RCDC and you get a last moment change in your analysis file. So what you can do from RCDC itself is there is an option which is known as update design. The option is available in the file menu. Once you click on the update design, a window will pop out for you wherein you can select your updated or revised analysis model and then proceed ahead for updating the design. So this update design option can be performed for all the modules in RCDC except the STAD module and any of the analysis file which was initially used for creating your original RCDC file can be used for this feature. Further in this session, we will check which are the criteria that are considered while performing the update design. That is by checking your freezed or finalized design against your revised analysis model and what will be the steps in performing or using this feature in RCDC. So let us understand the criteria that are considered while reading the data from your revised analysis file. So the first thing that comes in is the element mapping. So what is element mapping? If there is a change in any location of a particular element or say if the grid distance has been revised, what happens in that case is program will check what is the new location that is the CG of the member in the revised file and come back to the original file and check whether the new CG from the revised analysis file lies within the locus or the boundary of the existing or the original location. So if the revised location or the CG of the revised location lies within the locus of the original location then it will be identified as the same column that is say if C1 was a column in your original IC, uh, in your original file and it has been shifted but the relocated location is also such that it will come as a C1 only. The same thing applies to the beam mapping as well. So if the beam has been shifted by some millimeters and the center line of the beam lies within the width of the existing beam, then it will be identified as the same beam, else it will be a new beam. So for columns, the logic will be applicable in the column design update as well as when we are updating the foundation. And for beam, the logic remains if the center line of the newly located or the relocated beam lies within the width of the original width. Uh, original B. So uh, if the element has been mapped, that is, if the element remains same, then the existing design will be checked for the revised analysis courses. Or if the element has been identified as a new element or a new member, then a new design will be performed for that particular member. Next, the changes can be in terms of that the section property that is the size of say column has changed or the size of the beam has changed then a new design will be performed in case if the column size has been modified then it will require a new design 
then if a new level has been added then design for the new level that is the presence of elements on the new level will be performed and the design for the existing members will be checked so uh, there are different changes from your analysis file that has been captured by the program it will be brought to you and based on the type of the change in your revised analysis model the further design steps will be taken so the list of things that are been considered by reading the data from the revised analysis file will be listed down and when we proceed ahead for updating the design the design will be performed or it will be checked now let us proceed ahead uh, for coming specific to the column design update so under column design first we will understand what happens when the column has been mapped so there can be different cases wherein the if the column has been shifted but still identified as the same column as compared to the original location there will be a design compare that is the original or the freezed design will be compared and checked for the changes in the revised analysis stage second case can be if the cg of the shifted column was outside the locus of the original location of the column then it will be a new column which will be named as nc1 which denotes it's a new column 1 and for any new column a new design will be formed and the third case can be if the column is identified as the same column that is c1 in your original file and c1 in your updated file as well but if the section property of the column has changed then the column remains the same but the freezed or the finalized design for c1 will get discarded and a new design will be performed now coming to grouping of columns in rcdc so in your original situation if we, if we have grouped five columns and in your updated out of five if the section property of one has changed then the column whose section property has changed will be removed from the group and the other four column who still has the same sectional property will get retained in the group then for the load cases the load cases which remains same in both the files Uh, in your original file as well as the updated file the load type to those load cases will be auto assigned by the program and if any new load cases identified then we need to manually assign the load type as we do in a regular rcdc work the rule remains same for the load combinations so if the load cases or the set of load cases same then the load combinations from your original file will be auto selected or auto populated but if you are adding any new load case then you need to again add the load combination if there is a change in design for the main reinforcement the shear design performed will be new if there is change in material then it will be a new design again now this remains true for e taps and ram structural system files which are imported in rcdc and for ram structural system specific files if the column type changes from gravity to lateral or vice versa then it will be a new design so let me take you further for uh, getting the actual demo so before that let us check what are what model we are going to just look in so this is our actual model the plan view of the model and i have just kept four levels in my original file and i have added an extra level in my updated file coming to the actual dimensional view we have these columns i have i have just i will quickly just show that these are my columns which are rectangular in shape 600 by 900 these are circular shaped columns and the other columns are a square shaped 700 by 700 column and in my updated file i have just shift uh, increased this grid distance from 5.71 to 6 and this grid, grid distance has been changed to 9 i have just updated the size of the column from 700 by 700 these two columns to 600 by 600 so that we can see how it has been handled in a rc we will look into more details in the next parts of the video stay tuned with us thank you